Hey, what's going on, everyone? This is Benny Childs, and I am the founder of the Teach Me to Fish Effects trading community. I also go by the Forex Pastor, and you guys are tuned in to another Teach Me to Fish Effects uh, video. And in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to add your own TDI to your MetaTrader 4 and MetaTrader 5 mobile app and this works for uh, Android and iPhone alike. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and clear all this out for you guys, get the junk off of there. And so more than likely you may be uh, starting with a, <clears throat> excuse me, a screen that is similar to mine. And what we're gonna do is simply uh, up at the top, you can hit the italicize F, which is the functions uh, icon. Uh, you can hit that or you can tap your screen and this little dial will pop up and you can hit the functions icon from there. And the first thing we're going to do is add a relative strength index or better known as the RSI. We're going to select that. All right. Uh, we're going to set the period to 13. We're going to apply it to the close. All right. And in styles, uh, in the style section, you want to click on the color square and you want to set that color to the background of your chart and you're going to hit done all right and so now it looks like this all right now we're going to tap our screen again hit our functions icon and in the indicator window uh, function we're going to hit the add function key and from there we're going to add a moving average it is right here and that moving average is going to be uh, two we're going to set the period to two shift zero the method is going to be simple and we are going to apply this to the previous indicators data all right and from there we're going to click on uh, i'm going to keep this at uh, two you can change the width uh, at whatever you like but i like two and from there we're going to click the uh, color square and we're going to change that color to green any green that you like all right and then we're going to hit done now we have that all right now we're going to tap our screen hit our functions key and go back to the indicator window number one and hit the add function and from there we're going to add another moving average and this moving average we're going to set the period to seven all right shift zero method is going to be simple all right and we're going to uh, apply this to the previous indicators data all right and then from there we're going to hit the color square and we're going to select uh your favorite red color and we're going to hit done now we have uh that all right and once again we're going to tap the screen hit the functions uh key hit the add function all right to the make sure you're adding it to the indicator window one all right all these should be added to indicator window one all right, and now from there, we are going to add Bollinger Bands. All right, the period is going to be 34. Okay, the deviation is going to be 1.618, shift 0, and we're going to set this to the first indicator's data. All right, then we're going to hit the color square. Okay, and we are going to select our favorite blue color. All right, and I'm going to change that style to two pixels, and we're going to hit done. All right, now we have this. Now, last but not least, let's hit the uh, tap our screen, hit the functions uh, symbol, add function symbol, and we're gonna add another moving average. All right, but this time, this period is going to be 34, okay? And again, it's gonna be simple, and we're gonna apply this to the first indicator's data. All right, we're going to hit our color square and we're going to select yellow and we're going to hit done. Now, we successfully have created our very own TDI um, indicator for our mobile device. And basically, uh, the really easy way uh, to use this, all right, uh, is you want to wait for uh, price to uh possibly be coming into a um an area uh that is going to produce a reversal all right and we see here if we scroll over uh price is currently right here um it has found 
um, a little resting place where uh, there has previ previously been some uh, resistance. And uh, what I'm going to do is create a quick zone really quick by adding in uh, some horizontal lines. And so we do that by Uh, placing this in this area at the very bottom of the wick okay then we're going to add another horizontal line and we're going to place this at the body of that candle that's producing that longer wick okay and this is just a real simple way just a simple zone all right and so now we see where price is getting uh uh, it's inside this zone, all right, um, or it's getting getting close to the zone, okay. And once price does that, all right, we are going to um, wait for the green uh, price line, all right, of the of the um, TDI to come out of the. Bollinger band, all right, and this is typically called a shark fin out of water. All right, um, you can see it better right here, uh, where again uh, the green signal price line, excuse me, the green price line came out, and uh, so here we have the same thing green price line has come out, and then from there, you want to watch your uh, chart for. Uh, price action all right if you guys hopefully you guys know how to use price action if you don't then head over uh, to the teach me to fish effects.com and enroll and we'll teach you guys um, all the price action uh, teach you all about price action and candlestick formations and so you basically want to wait and so basically what this is letting you know that price is getting ready to turn around whenever uh, that um, the green price line comes out of the Bollinger Bands and they're making their way back in. That lets us know that uh, price is getting ready to either A, reverse or B, give us a short term pullback. So, all right. Now, there is much more to using the TDI. Um, of course, we go over that in the Teach Me to Fish Effects trading community. Uh, however, I'm sure you can find other YouTube videos that will uh, go in depth. Uh, but we save that for um, our members. So if you're uh, interested in learning uh, how to exactly to uh, use the TDI effectively, all right, not just how to use it, not just to know, okay, it's a shark fin and now there's blood in the water and blase blase, but actually how to use uh, the TDI effectively and to benefit your trading, then yeah, of course, I'm going to encourage you guys to head over to the teach me to fish effects.com and sign up. So yeah, this is basically how you add uh, the TDI to your MetaTrader 4 or MetaTrader 5 mobile app and uh, just a brief little introduction on how to use it. All right, guys, I appreciate you. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you have not yet, please subscribe to the channel and make sure you hit the bell notification icon and select all, and that way you will be notified whenever I go live with live Forex uh, training, trading, and analysis, and also whenever I upload a video. All right. As always, guys, if you stay in God, you will stay in control. And until next time, happy pip fishing. Bye-bye.